Hello everyone, I am Neoxenok, and this is my let's play of Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. We are in the Throne of Ball portion of this uh, particular campaign, and I'm trying to refix my microphone to be a little bit better position. So, I, uh, uh, I used a program to manipulate my last save. Oh, I, I found out that my saves were doing something a little bit weird when I was saving the game, because apparently I'm still using the Shadows of Um uh, thing for saving, so that means I can't just go and load any... Oh, well, I guess it just goes right to where it should go. But anyway, I I created a save based off of this one. Here, let me delete one of these. And, uh... What was the name of the program that I use? Um... Completely blanking on the name now. Uh, um, e. e Keeper, yes, that is what I did. Just to, um, I'm not going to keep these changes just as an FYI, I just wanted to see if it was possible. Anyway, excuse me. Yes, Espinar, I hear you. Anyway. I gave Anwaro here an extra spell slot, so he can actually prepare 7th, 8th, and ninth level spells, which is normally rather impossible for bards to do. So, we are not going to keep this because that is just bona fide a cheating, which we will decidedly not do. Yes, definitely, definitely decidedly not do. But yeah, yeah, that's that's interesting that that's even a thing that can happen. But anyway. So we opened up a challenge for us it to shall do. Be. Best. Hi, Sasbinar. There he is. Hello. Hello. Hello yourself. I am the little butler for the great bow. Oh, yes! Or I was. It had been very lonely for me. No more master to serve for a very long time. Until now, that is. So you're a butler of some kind or another. What is it exactly that you do? Are you implying that I'm your master now? Oh, I does clean things. I go and I collect the little things that find their ways to the abyss. And when my master requests, I use the recipes to making the shiny ones. Oh, yes. The shiny ones, you say? Yes, oh, yes. Call on me, you may. Use my recipes for you will. I, I make the shiny ones. I've not done this for some time, though. No new master have I. Cespinar gladly serves a great one. Cespinar make good butler, yes? Would you like me to make you shiny ones? I have many recipes. Uh, I don't really have anything for him to use, I think, right now. I don't think I even start getting things until I... This is part of the reason why I saved going to Watcher's Keep, I guess, until this point in the game. And I'm not even sure if I want to do it now or if I want to do it later. I'm kind of thinking of doing um, Watcher's Keep uh, now and then doing the rest of this game later just because, A, it'll give me a ton of experience and allow me to use some of my higher le level abilities and then use that uh, later in the game. I also don't know how to how I want to handle the end of Watcher's Keep. There are a number of ways you can end that area. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it. 
because there is definitely the, I might want to challenge myself and do something that would be stupid otherwise. Uh, because that is the uh, optional super dungeon for the uh, for Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, like uh, Durlag's Tower in the last game. And I don't know if I want to uh, do that yet, but I'm, I'm heavily leaning on doing that now. I think I have to do the Saradouche thing first before I can go anywhere else. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. I might have some time before I even have to decide on that. Uh, sure, go ahead and show me what you can do. Ooh! Needs must I look through your belongings? Match them to recipes, must I? Let me be. Oh, holy Avenger sword, huh? Nice. Mm-hmm. There is a pommel tool called the Eye of Tear. You finds it now. Use recipe on Holy Avenger. Oh yes. But you know has it now, so oh well. Okay. I keep looking through stuff. Ah, the flail of many heads it is. Ouch! Ooh, wrong head. I know the recipe is for two heads for the flail of ages. First, you add poison head. Then you add electricity heads. Only recipes I have. Sorry. You sure you not just want to dump everything out? Easier that way. Ooh, you like this one maybe? Like a little smack on the tooth, huh? <laughs> You've got blades in your chain mail. I see it's elven chain. I have recipes that makes it even better, I do. I use your scroll of protection from normal weapons and 40,000 gold. You once? Uh, no, what else? Okay, so I keep looking. What is this? Dill cookie? Oh, that is not cookie. Oh, Saspinara, you, you're the best. Oh, shower curtain. Oh, it's only a cloak. Nasty pattern, that. Huh. Well, I has good recipe to make cloak of protection plus two better. Needs cloak of, needs scrolls of invisibility and improved haste, though, so maybe later.
Which is to tell me what some of the uh, things that the mustard jelly can do. I know that those transformations are actually pretty useful. screams at night, can't you? You can feel the blood of the murdered and how it flows all around you. A thousand different pains and you're nothing but a solitary echo. But it's not terrible, it's inviting. It calls you. And if you give in to it, you can, uh, if you offer your entire heart up to it, everything becomes crystal clear. One murder, two, a thousand, it all becomes a part of you. I murdered three of the local girls until I was driven out, and then I went to the city. Murder was easier there, and I felt the call every night. You taste life, you know, and it's, it is divine. But you resist it, don't you? Why would you do that? I can feel you've murdered many, and yet you resist all the good we've done. But the ball spawn can appreciate. After all, the only thing you need to fear is retribution. Yes?
do something. Be done. Very well. You are but a gnat compared to my power. What is my task? Oh wow, I don't was he in this the original game appearing at this point? Strange thing is, the longer you survive, the more blood you have on your hands, and there's never an end to the retribution. What is there?
Okay, so that's all we need it to do here. Be. We have the ability to enter and exit as I see fit. Consider it done. Greetings to you, child of Bull. I am an aspect of your fate, uh, the thread that leads you unerringly along your destiny. In a way, I am part of you. Aspect of my fate, uh, can you tell me of the future? I only follow the strand of fate that you weave with others, child. You tug at the entire pattern, the tapestry, such as the strength of your own destiny. You also end the threads of many. Uh, threads that touch you and get woven around you are cut short, dead, their future ending. Such is also in your fate. So, can you help me or not? I cannot touch your own thread, child, nor can I tell you where it leads. I can, however, alter the threads of those whose lives are intertwined closely with your own. Those whose destinies are tied to yours. There are those who, uh, who are tied to your fate and your future, whether they know it or not. Of their threads are within my reach, I can bring them to this place. I can bring people here. They are meant to be a part of your future, yes, they will fall into your wake because their fates are tied to yours. Oh, interesting, you tell me... Oh, I'm so sorry, you shit. As you wish, child. I already have my full party here, everyone that I could possibly need. I hope we both do the same thing. Okay. I await your word. Let us leave this place. Too busy to meet with the likes of these commoners. Move along and no one gets hurt. You know what? Hold on one moment. I want to go and get my last can of the Dr. Pepper. Represent the concerns of the entire town. Please, good soldiers, hear their case. Our food is almost gone. Our children cry out in hunger. Your master must hear our pleas. The plight of peasants is not Gromnir Ilkhan's concern. Stand aside, townsfolk. If you know what's good for you, you'll all head back to your homes. The army outside the city will surely kill us all. Your master cannot just turn his back on us! Clear these gates! You won't get another warning! Threats are not the answer here. Everyone stay calm and we can work together to find a solution. Our orders are clear. Move these peasants along or we'll move them along ourselves. No one do anything rash. Uh, perhaps if we return later when it is more convenient for Gromner Ilkhan to see us? No, Melisan. We will not be bullied this time! We will stay right here until they take us to Gromnir! We demand to see Gromnir! Take us to Ilkhan! There is just no reasoning with you people. You only understand the edge of a sword. Um, pot and, uh, pot calling the kettle black and all. I told you to clear these gates! You brought this on yourselves! No! Put down your weapons! This is not necessary! What's this? A child of bone appears from nowhere? Impossible. It's amazing how everyone can recognize me on sight now. Not even as Jotar or whoever, but 
specifically as a child of balls, or is there some distinguishing trait between me and someone who might else who might look exactly like me? Intruders! Spies! The walls have been breached! Slay the invaders! Attack! No! Hold your weapons! These might be allies come to help! Don't fall for their tricks! Kill them all, and let the gods sort them out! Mm. Well, this is not going to end well for any of you. Oh, what the fuck things can I do? Uh, I wouldn't want to do any area of effect spells out here. I hate to fire on anyone only to find out that they were never meant to be hostile toward me. I hope you like a horrible weapon there. I am Melisande, a friend. Welcome to Saradouche. I regret your first encounter in this town was so bloody. I don't abide by bullies. Everywhere I go, people try to kill me. How do I know I can trust you? I realize your life has been one of bloodshed and betrayals. I can offer you no guarantees. I only offer the truth. And hope you will see it as in your own best interest to aid me. I have watched the events of your life quite closely, Jota, as I do with all the progeny of the Lord of Murder. I have seen many of your kin slain over these past months. Our ball's children are such interest to you. If I consider me a guardian, for want of a better term, I know the prophecies of Alundo, and I know some feel they allude to the return of all to the realms. By taking an active interest in the fate of Ball's offspring, you and those like you are able to prevent the Lord of Murder from returning to the realms in any form. So there's another person meddling with the fate of Ball's children. 
I do not know how you came to be here, Jotar, but I fear you're not trapped in here at Seraphish like the rest of us. Uh, beyond the walls of Seraphish uh, lie the army of Yagashura. They have laid siege to this town, seeking the death of all those uh, here who share your tainted blood. Is there any hope of stopping this slaughter? First, just, first we must deal with uh, General Grom here, the man who now runs the city of Seraphish. Gromnir is also a child of Baal and was once a powerful general. I brought him and his loyal men here to protect Saradush and the many Valspawn gathered here seeking sanctuary. But Gromnir is mad. He has barricaded himself in the castle throne room and his troops run amok, uh, run amok through the town with no regard for the lives and rights of the citizens of Saradush. Uh, I should bring down the castle walls. So either yay Gromnir or death to Gromnir. Really? That is a terrible betrayal still. The actions of Gromnir and his soldiers have caused dissension within the town and has made it almost impossible for the loyal Serenish militia to defend the walls. We must first defeat the enemy within before we can end this siege. We must find a way to get inside the, the castle to Gromnir. Perhaps you can reason with him, but I fear he is beyond reason. I'm afraid you have to kill the general to give Saradush any hope of surviving the siege. For the sake of this town, I will try to reason with this man in general. It may, it may be difficult to find, uh, to find after this, Jotar. The town suffers, and my hours are spent doing what I can for the people. If you have another question, I suggest you ask it now. What can you tell me of Yagashura? Yagashura is a Balsman Jotar, perhaps, the most, perhaps as powerful as yourself. He and his army will not rest until every child of the ball within these walls lies dead. Why is Yagashura killing all the other Balsman? Until you prove yourself, there are some secrets I must keep to guarantee the safety of the, uh, the people. I have sworn to uh, guarantee the safety of the people I have sworn to protect. If you wish to save yourself from Yagashura, you will aid me regardless. It may be difficult to find out for this time. Um, one last thing. Any idea how long we have until the walls are reached? The siege can last a few days or a few months. Act quickly, Jotar, and may fortune shine upon your mission. So, most likely, plenty of time. So, the only thing I took before, I think, was, uh, use any item. Uh, I really don't know too much about what, uh, I should take in that next part song, because this is actually quite a bit better than... Because that is kind of the point to where his bard song kind of, even though it's been much better than the standard bard song, uh, anyone who takes Enhanced Bard Song essentially all has the same one. So this is kind of at the point where if Anwaro takes Enhanced Bard Song, that's kind of at the point where he basically doesn't become much better than even a standard bard. But, you know, I've also spent two-thirds of the entire Ball Spawn saga with the better uh, Bard Song, so it hasn't been... It hasn't been a terrible trip. So, that's a bard song it is, because it is...
quite a bit better. Yeah, and that's why playing a bl blade is so good in this game. It's the best version of the bard because their bard song is the one that takes the penalty, and by the time you get to high levels like this, you could take, you know, that basically covers that one of their major, the, the only really major weakness they get from it, aside from a decreased ability to uh, steal things. Because uh, their pickpockets ability is slash, and I think their lore is only at half value, but when you have it 267 more. There's not really a whole lot of difference between that and one that's only half as good. Because of course he's also a mage and has identify as a spell known, so in the rare chance I run into something, I can still cast identify. Anyway, let's go memorize my new shiny new level four spell. So what shiny new 4th level spell should I gain? Let's see, spirit armor isn't going to be nearly as good as the regular armor that I'm wearing. It's definitely something you want to be if you're a mage of some kind or another. Emotion hopelessness. That'd be good. basically taken out of combat, so it's kind of similar to, it's basically a less powerful version of Mage. I mean, uh, Maze. Not Mage, Maze. Uh, I don't think Polymorph Self is going to do anything really good. None of the forms that can... Mustard Jelly, capable of poisoning or slowing opponents if they fail to save versus death. Penalty. Okay, so that is actually really good. Really good. supposed to be the tool mage, so that's, that's what it's going to be. As for you, um, level 23. What fun abilities do you have? All he has are quest spells that he can gain. You know, that might be useful at some point, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. Greater command moves. As it would cause a serious and animal summoning too. Greater command. It's going to be a big fat meh on Mortar's recall. To my memory, there's only one major encounter with Undead, and I might not be able to rest between here and there. So, Soul Searing Orb. Uh, does do. Well, does 66, which is okay. I mean, it's better against Undead, but it's at least useful. What about what is physical mirror?
on the safe line. You just don't eat me. You said ball spots eat little boys. I'm a ball spot. I don't eat little boys. My name is Jotar. Don't eat me, promise. My name is Tezzet. You're not going to eat me. Can you please help my daddy? And he got hit by the fire and fell down. I can't look him up no matter what. Please help my daddy. Uh, hold on one second. Just wanted to check to see if I was actually recording. Uh, might be able to help you with a spell. Uh, let's... Uh, I can't help you, but perhaps a cleric in my party could. Well, could you get him here to help me? Can you please? Uh, I just want my daddy back. Alright, monk. If you back. wish. What? No, 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 no. I did not intend to do that. It shall be. If you wish. <laughs> I'm the boss of little boy. My name is Romok. Meet me. Oh, uh, I pressed two and I pressed one by accident. Vita Mortis Carreo. What happened? I felt myself hovering over my own body. Something was pulling me away to a distant place. I fought against it. I just couldn't leave Tezzet alone. And then suddenly, I felt myself being drawn back into my body. Oh, you're lucky there's no guarantee the spell would work for you. But, but you raised me. Such spells are so expensive. In my life, I could afford it to be raised. I felt so unworthy of your attention, my love. I thank you nonetheless. But you're a ball spawn. Oh, boss one with a very incarnation of evil in death. I, I see now I was wrong. My name is Physic. I must, I must apologize, my lord. I fear I've judged you and your kind unfairly. I have no reward to give you except my thanks and prayers. You're truly a great force of good in the realms, my lord. You, perhaps you will yet save Serge. Today we have done another, another good deed. Consider it done. I will do my best. Huh? All right then. Actually. Yes.
interact with the plebeians down here. As you ask. Hmm? How did I come to this? Just a simple farmer. Is it my fault that my father was the lord of murder? Why aren't you inside the castle with the rest of the false father? Well, it may have been my father, but I want no part in this. I came to Sardis to escape persecution in my hometown, and all I want to do, do is try and blend in with the normal, normal folk. Just leave me alone. I can't tell you anything. I'm just a simple farmer. All I want is my normal life back. And this <coughs> cursed immortal lineage. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Please help us. Romneer's men terrorize us in the streets. I fear that the army outside will soon burn Saradish to the ground. Sorry, I guess. What is my task? It shall be. These dwarves have no respect. If it weren't for our town taking them in, they'd be dead already. Well, if there's trouble they want, we can give it to them. Are you with us? <clears throat> Real enemy is outside the gates, remember. Uh, yes, yes. I heard when she shifted. Uh, you better stop this childish bickering before I lose my temper. Uh, hey now, stranger, just relax. We know what you Ballspawn are like. All we're doing is blowing off a little steam. You guys like Ballspawn? Look, crawling in the streets is one thing. Make none of us looking to get killed. Come on, lads, you heard the man. Let's clear out. How much money do I have? Uh, I'm incredibly poor. I require healing now! I could use some help. Okay, well, I guess I found something I can spend my money on. Because I keep getting smacked by incoming friend, uh, incoming fire. Consider it done. 